This is alleged, right? I would not be surprised if this is the truth, okay? We do not know if this is confirmed. Uh, I do not want to be copyright striked by Nikita Buyano from the St. Petersburg because I'm spreading negative hype and slandering and there is no breaches, okay, Nikita Buyano? It has been less than 48 hours since I made this tweet. First off, doing this will risk your account. I will not be doing showing anything related to it. This is exploiting not only BSG's terrible coding, but there is also a few compromised points along the way. By the way, is this the guy that was getting copyright strikes by Nikita all the way back in the days, all the way like 2016 with glitching the game? That's the guy? I remember LD. I remember LD, dude. I remember this guy, dude. He was the content creator when I started with content. Like, we both started at the same time. We had the same view count. <laughs> oh my god. And the thing is, listen up. This is the flaw that he found in what? One day. Immediately. Imagine. Patch comes out and bro figures it out in a few hours. Battle said games coding, by the way. Give them 250 bucks, maybe they're gonna code better. Holy shit. Let's tackle this first. Wait, he's actually giving the tutorial? Are you fucking kidding me? Let's tackle this first. Almost anyone can join any PvE game regardless of the edition. This only involves editing some files on your end and convincing the server you have authentication. I will not go into detail on how to do any of this as I do not feel like I need Kitter lawsuits. By the way, what I'm doing right now, just reading what somebody else said, Nikita copyright striked 47 of my videos and killed my YouTube channel. This what I'm doing right now. Right now what I'm doing. Now that we know, all you need is one person to have unheard edition and the rest can be invited and the fake I did in. Let's talk about the real problem. Cheaters. There is a few paid cheats out there that give you an ability to server select. Well, a few of these are insane. One of the most expensive ones lets you see ping, lets you see how many people are connecting at any given time, lets you see who you're connecting to, and even the ability to substitute your own connection or decide where you want to connect. Wait, so I am a streamer and you see my ID and cheater can just log in on my, on my server? Is that what I'm reading? That's great! This effectively makes it to where you can find single person servers, PvE servers, and connect to them. All it requires is that at one point they invited someone to their game. Here is where it gets funky though. This also, okay, so he's using those premium cheats that you can server select, and then you can join in the PvE server, I see. I'm glad that he gave the context, because, yeah, makes sense. Why not? Because you need to be logged in, you need to be online to play on the PV servers regardless, right? Here's where it gets funky though. These items on the PV server have no server specific ID, meaning if you were to get your main character on that PV server, those items would carry over to the main game, effectively making RMT so insanely easy. Oh my god! So cheaters can farm PvE servers and sell the items in PvP. Homie, do you think that this guy wants to kill Tarkov? Do you think that this guy wants to hurt Tarkov? In Nikita's eyes, yes. In Nikita's eyes, this is enemy number one. This guy should be copyright striked. This guy should not get Twitch drops. This guy that is explaining the main flaws in the game. That's Nikita's mentality, by the way. Trust me, been there. That, leave that. Yeah, yeah, negative hype, dude. Negative press, dude. This removes most of the cheaters' risk. We will see the RMT market so flooded even after a wipe. If you thought the dupes were bad, imagine just handing cheaters the ability to make items fall out of a thin air. On top of all of this, you're opening the flood's gates to the people's computers being compromised. People's accounts being compromised and you're throwing away all the promises you made to us. Nikita. I have nothing to do with the cheat makers. I haven't played Tarki in a while, probably since the beginning of the last swipe. 
I still love the game. The company and its decisions can fuck right off though. PvE is DLC or it's a game mode that should ship with every edition, no question. The only way to fix this problem is to scrap it all. Offline PvE should be 100% offline. Use the person's machine as the save point for the progression. Even they said themselves, even if we all bought it, they could not handle us all playing it. It's bullshit. Plain and simple. I do not care if y'all stick around or not. This needs to be known that continuing with the way things are. Chat, homie, I think that RMT guys are pissed at this guy now, dude. No? If you're I RMT Andy, and you knew about that, wouldn't you fucking go after him, dude? I would be, I would be cautious, man. I don't know, dude. There is a lot of cash involved, dude, in, in uh, you know, RMT, dude. Thank you for taking the bullet. We lead to so many more problems down the road. Things that if you want to patch later, we will need to scrap the entire thing. Do it now, do it early. I agree. Today's post from Nikita does not fix the situation at all. They're still going to add the distress signal, ways to connect during a raid and have online offline servers. These are all terrible things that can be abused so easily. If left unchanged, Tarkov will die. They dug such a deep hole, Battleset Games. No matter under what angle Nikita tries to fix this, it's unfixable. If they remove the f***ing edition out, people are gonna be pissed because they removed it. If they wanna change something, people are gonna fix because they bought the original thing and now they're changing it. And you know, no matter what they do, imagine taking out the content now because it's fucking, it has extreme, severe fucking flaws. I mean, this is, again, this is a legend, right? I would not be surprised if this is the truth, okay? We do not know if this is confirmed. Uh, I do not want to be copyright striked by Nikita Buyano from the St. Petersburg because I'm spreading negative hype and slandering and there is no breaches, okay, Nikita Buyano? I do not know, we do not know if this is true. I repeat, please clip this. All of these that I read right now, we do not know if this is true. This is just trust me, bro, okay? Uh, I have no relations uh, with LD, dude. This is not what I think it is, but it might be. Please do not cooperate, strike 47 of my videos again, Nikita. Sorry for, sh don't shoot the messenger again, Nikita. Please. I do not know if this is true or not. It's alleged. But it seems real to me. Just like that article from, from fucking Glock. Seemed really real to me. But hey, let's not talk about that. I do not know if it is even safe to be in fucking PvE mode. Honestly. I do not even know should you. Should I suggest you to play PvE? Honestly. Because if cheaters can enter in, in your game and if they can steal your fucking like, you know. I would just, you know, wait a few more clicks. That's just me. I'll talk Lulu. You attack Lulu. Just don't. I, I don't know. It's it's so it's so fucking insane. It's so intense. <laughs> Everything is so fucking intense and is ramping up. I would just stay put. Just my couple of clicks, dude. You know.